So hello everyone, welcome to the platform of an academy, India's largest online learning platform. So I welcome you all and in this session we are going to do the building series. We have started the building series and we are going to proceed in that. Okay. <clears throat> so again, I welcome you all. So before the starting, uh, let me give you my brief introduction. My name is Vidya Bhati Kumar and I have a four plus year of teaching as well as research and development experience. I have done ME from Jadhapur University. I have worked at CSIS Institute of Mining and Fuel Research, qualified GATE twice and I am the author and co-author of various research papers publication of national and international journal of repute. So if you have a keen interest about the research, you can google about me as well as you can follow me at unacademy.com at the rate of v.k sir where I am currently teaching the strength of material full course so you will be getting the strength of material totally free okay so uh, basically in this session what we are going to focus we are going to focus on the flash butt welding as well as we are also going to see what is the flash welding basically there is a difference between a flash welding and there is a difference between the flash butt welding so so flash welding and flash butt welding both are little bit different and what is the difference between them we are also going to see in that also we are going to solve some of the numericals associated with this flash butt welding and we are going to start one another welding technique and see this welding that is electro slag welding so this is going to be our uh this session would be comprising of these things so before starting if you have not downloaded the unacademy learning app download the unacademy learning app because in unacademy learning app there is a free class that i am currently giving that is special class that is known as special class and in this i am teaching the strength of material full full strength of material that is free and there is a paid paid versions that is known as plus subscription so uh, after getting the plus subscription you will watch each and every videos of almost all the educators okay so uh, the benefits of the unacademy learning app is that you are getting the daily live classes as well as courses are very much structured in nature tests and quizzes you can give and the unlimited access of the course content materials as well as if you are planning for a plus subscription you should do it because it is worth it you will be getting 100% coverage of the syllabus would be there dedicated doubt clearing sessions would be there dedicated doubt clearing sessions would be there as well as daily live classes are there so you will get opportunity to interact with the educator as well as if you are feeling any problem any issues are there to understand any concept the same you will be reciprocating with the uh, educator and definitely that educator will resolve it so this is the benefit of the daily live classes courses are very much structured in nature tests and quizzes you can give as well as unlimited access of the course content material so apart from all those things you are getting the pdf of the course materials so there is one another subscription that is known as iconic subscription so in this iconic subscription you will be getting all the benefits of the plus as well as there is another benefit that you will be getting that is personal coach so you can choose any of the educator to be your personal coach and that educator will help you throughout the preparation of gate and ASE. moreover there is a study tracker that will that will track your study that will uh, monitor your performance and evaluate your uh, perform as suggest you that what should be needed to improved in your uh, routine in your curriculums in your whatever you are exactly doing suppose if you are giving the mock test so proper analysis of the mock test would be there where exactly you are committing the mistakes and what should be incorporated these things would be there in this study tracker as well as a lot of a lots of the question and answer practices question would be given to you so you will be given mock test practice test a lot of things will be given to you so that you may not have to refer any other content so these are the top educators of the unacademy as well as unacademy has a lot of uh, uh, batches as well as courses for gate and ESE for different different branches such as mechanical civil electrical electronics production and industrial so on and so forth 
so you can check about it those uh, courses if you are very much interested in that as well as uh, if you haven't uh, purchased the plus subscription do it because after the 20th October the price is going to increase so these are the amount for for one month it will cost around 5000 for a three month it would be cost around 12500 for a six month it would be costing around uh, 20000 and for a 12 months it would be costing around 25000 so based upon that uh, if you can afford you can purchase and even if you cannot afford don't worry stick with the uh, uh, YouTube because uh, there are a lot of free contents that are being uh, given in this uh, uh, channel almost all the educators is giving the wonderful content so stick with it and uh, if you can afford definitely you should do it because 100% of coverage of the syllabus would be there so you can use my code sir vk s i r v k where you will be getting a 10 percent off in each of the plans whatever you are taking suppose if you are going for a 25 uh, thousand would be the price for a 12 month suppose if you are purchasing this plan then you will be getting a 10 percent off and the discounted amount would be 22,500. similarly for a 24 months plan suppose if you are a second or a third year the price would be 30,000 but if you will use my code sir vk s i r v k then the discounted amount would be 27,000 so based upon that if you can afford it you should do it you should purchase it and uh, that is really worth it and if you not then uh, i am also providing a lot of free contents so watch those things and definitely you will be understanding a lot of uh, tedious concepts so i am not uh, sir i have a question yes sir tell me what is your question okay so let's start our discussion of uh, what we have left so what is your question okay so let's start our discussion of uh, flash butt welding so let us start our discussion with the very first concept that is flash butt welding okay that is flash butt welding now see my dear friend till now what you have been observing so till now you have been observing like uh, the resistance welding and in this resistance welding you have seen the three basically three types what are the types you have seen you have seen the spot welding you have seen the seam welding as well as you have seen the projection welding so what is this flash butt welding so first of all the name suggest the name suggests see there is a butt welding so what is this meaning meaning of butt welding so definitely there would be a butt joint would be forming here and what is the meaning of flash so let us see what is the meaning of flash and what exactly the flash means what exactly the butt welding means these things we are going to see here let us assume so what is happening in this flash butt welding see first and foremost thing that it is a type of a resistance welding so it is a type of a resistance welding clear now see what is happening in this flush flash but welding so there is a fixed so suppose two two metal plates are there okay so two metal plates are there like this and uh, and this is suppose this is fixed okay so this is the fixed end so one plate is fixed and the other plate and the other plate is movable suppose like this okay so it is movable clear yeah, it is movable so one end of the plate is one end of the plate is fixed and the other end of the plate is movable clear yeah. and what are the things I have connected both of the plates, both the plates, fixed plate and the movable plate with a copper holder. So let me draw it like it. So there is a copper holder. Here it is present. 
here also a copper holder this is also a copper holder okay so these are the copper holders and these copper holders are connected with the power supply Sir, please uh, repeat from the beginning. Okay, okay. See, basically in the flash but welding, what is the flash but welding? So basically, this flash but welding is a resistance welding, is a resistance welding. So what is the meaning of resistance welding? So one one once you have understood that this is a resistance welding, so you must keep in your mind that current should be in the order of ten thousand ampere to fifty thousand ampere. Okay. Now see, now see in this what is happening there is a fixed plate that is fixed at one end and there is a movable plate that is going to move right so this movable plate is going to move like this fine. Now this, these two things are connected with the copper electrode so this is your copper, copper electrode holder fine so this is also copper electrode holder, copper electrode holder is there this is also copper electrode holder fine now what is happening what is happening here in this in this it is connected with the power supply so here is what here is the air gap clear so here is the air gap so you know that this is the air gap air gap fine now see there is a air gap and due to this air gap air gap has some resistance air gap will have some resistance Clear. So air gap will have some resistance. So what is I am doing? Understand. Understand. So this is a technique. This is a technique which is used to join the two objects. See, there is a two objects. First object is this. Second object is this. In which I am fixing the one object and second object is movable. So it is a technique by which you are joining the two object end to end. Most important point. You are joining this object end to end. Clear. First thing is this. Now see, in these two electro, in these two objects are fixed with are like uh, you can say that these uh, uh, these uh, plates, these objects are connected with the copper electrode, copper electrode holders. Fine. And see, one of them is fixed and other is the movable. When the two uh, two workpiece are there, so this is the workpiece. So suppose if I am bringing this movable uh, object. In this direction in this direction so whenever you will keep it close so suppose the distance is like this so when distance will be very much close very much close so what we are doing so when the distance between these two object is very much close so at that point I am supplying a very high current okay so so when the gap between them is very close so i am supplying a very high current now see my dear friend you know these things that if my current would be high then heat supplied is what i square r t where see this is the air gap so air gap has some resistance so definitely resistance is also increased now you are giving a very high amount of current once the gap between the suppose this is the fixed and this is the movable so gap between them is like this you have just supplied the current and current is in the under the range of this so the heat supplied would be i square rt clear so i square rt amount of heat is supplied here in between the junction clear now see once the heat will be generated so after get a heat will be generated so you have uh, uh, actually produced a sufficient amount of heat okay so a uh, sufficient amount of heat is produced sufficient amount of heat is produced now see at the junction when the sufficient amount of heat is produced i am just cutting off the power supply okay remember those everything is same a basic uh, resistance welding ka jo principle hai, everything is same so after generating a sufficient amount of heat i am just cutting off the power supply and when the power supply is cut off i am external pressure external pressure and by applying the external pressure i am getting the joint okay so see so see here suppose this is the fixed end this is the fixed end and this is the movable so you just keep keep like uh, see here 
you just brought this movable end very close very close and when the movable end is brought very close so the heat generated is i square rt so due to this heat generated this will melt clear this will melt and during the due to this melting see we know also that time what is the time see in the resistance welding basically we are not giving the time like more than 0.5 second no so time is basically less than 0.5 second so milli in millisecond the time is there and this is the time duration during which you are applying the current so time is very less so definitely during that time heat is produced and due to the sufficient amount of heat you apply some pressure and due to this pressure your joint is produced like this fine your joint is produced like this so see here so see here my dear friend one more thing that i want to tell you one more thing that i want to tell you is so this is a first step so this is a first step that that you have that you have the plates okay so this is a movable plate i'm not drawing the electrodes these things just understand the concept only so this is a movable plate and this is the fixed plate so in the first step what you are doing you are bringing this movable plate so that so that the gap between them is very close clear so this is the step one next step is what you brought these fixed fixed is here only you brought them very close you brought them very close so this is my fixed this is my movable now once you have brought them very close so here the here the heat supplied would be there clear here the heat supplied would be there so so i am getting the heat supplied like this fine suppose this is the heat supplied like this now heat is generated in between the joint now once the heat is generated sufficient amount of heat is generated what you are doing so this is the second step so this is the step two now in the step three what you are doing again there is a fixed plate so again there is a fixed plate so this is my fixed plate and in the step three what you are doing you are just applying the pressure so see when you will be applying the pressure when you will be applying the pressure so you will get a joint like this So you will get a joint like this clear so you will get a joint like this okay now see you will be getting a joint like this and see my dear friend there is a protruded part here and there is a protruded part here this part is known as flash okay so this is the flash extra flash is there so this is the butt welding you are forming and this is the flash so flash butt welding you are getting now see one most important point that see here when you are when you are uh, giving the heat so heat is what i square rt so due to this i square rt so due to this i square rt what will happen please repeat the step two see step one is there what so step one is there okay okay understand again and again i am telling you understand so in step one there is a fixed plate there is a movable plate so what you are doing so this is a fixed plate and the movable plate so suppose this is my fixed plate now see my aim is to bring this movable plate closer to the fixed plate in such a manner that resistance would be there and heat generated would be produced okay so my aim is to generate the heat here now i will bring those things very close so suppose i brought this thing very close like this like this fine in this case so in this step two once i brought them very close so now due to this so there is a gap so there is a resistance so definitely resistance due to this resistance i am applying at this step i am supplying a very high amount of current so suppose you are applying a very high amount of current so i square rt heat supplied would be more 
so heat supplied at the junction would be more so once i got some sufficient amount of heat at this junction so this is the this is the condition now what i did so this is the fixed plate this is the fixed plate this is the movable plate so i brought this movable plate very close now what i am doing once the heat is generated between these gap now what i am doing i am just pushing this movable plate by a pressure external pressure and i am getting a flash but joint like this clear so there is a flash which is produced now one more thing that i want to tell you here is see here so what is happening so before the welding you definitely going to like uh, sharpen the edges so that there should not be oxide layer but see if there is an oxide layer so due to this uh, heat produced i square rt these will be melted these will be melted and the oxide layer will come to this part okay to the flash part to the flash part it will become and in the flash part when it is coming in the flash part when it is coming so what you are doing you are trimming this extra part so after that you just trim this extra part and how you are trimming this extra part you are actually grinding them okay grinding them and definitely you are getting a very good good uh, surface like this fine there is a weld clear so this is how you are making the flash but welding so i'm pretty much sure that uh, each and every concept is clear to you of the flash but welding okay so i have shown in the step by step so this is your step 3 and let me give you the quick notes so that you understand everything okay so see understood so see uh, see this is the first point that i am writing here so what is the first point that this technique this technique can be used for joining of the objects end to end fine i have told these things end to end to produce to produce a butt joint between the two surfaces okay next thing what next thing what see we have seen that we have connected these things we have connected these things with the copper electrode right we have connected these things with the copper electrode so let me write it here that these two work piece these two work piece is connected or these two work pieces these two work pieces which are to be welded which are to be welded will be held in two copper electrode holders next is what so my next step is what my next step is to bring these fixed and movable so bring this movable part towards the fixed plate and reduce the gap fine so let me write it here that before that one work piece one work piece will be fixed one work piece will be fixed and other and other work piece is movable so these things we have seen next is what next is what when the two work piece when the two work piece are brought very closer then very high rate of current is supplied is supplied due to supplied fine supplied now see here here what is happening due to due to the resistance of air due to the resistance of air heat will be generated heat will be generated and what is the amount of heat that is i square rt 
clear so these things we have seen so heat is generated in the i square rt now after heat is generated what i will do so once i will once i will get a sufficient amount of heat i will cut off the power supply i will cut off the power supply so next thing is what next thing is what once the sufficient amount of heat is achieved then power supply is switched off after that what you are giving see once you are uh, switching off the power supply you are giving the pressure external pressure you are giving so you are giving external pressure we have seen these things so let me write it here after that after that external pressure after that external pressure is applied to produce the joint between the workpiece okay so you got the idea everything yes good evening pankaj ji good evening so you got the idea of these uh, uh, of this flash butt welding clear now see here now see here we have achieved flash butt welding like this clear so we have achieved a flash butt welding like this so let me draw like this okay so this is your flash butt welding so this is your first part somewhat like there and in between you are getting a welding like this okay so you are getting the welding like this clear so this is your welding this is your welding now see now see in this case this is a flash butt welding and in this case this case so here what here actually melting takes place clear melting takes place let us assume okay, so before that this is your now see let us assume this diameter to be d this diameter to be d and this to be b okay so the width is assuming the width to be b okay so this is the b b is what b is amount of material which is melted from both ends right so this is the amount of material which is melted from both ends from the fixed plate also and from the movable plate also so from the both the ends suppose that 1 mm 1 mm is melted from the fixed plate fixed uh, object and from the movable object so basically this b would be 2 mm so this is the basic concept this is the basic concept so this is the b fine this is the b now if i would talk about the volume so the volume of the weld volume of the weld so here the volume would be given by pi by 4 d square into b clear d square into b remember these things now see if i would be talking about the melting heat required to melt heat required to melt so we know that heat required to melt is actually given by sensible heat plus latent heat where again the sensible heat will be mc e melting temperature minus of ambient temperature plus of mass into latent heat now now this is the hm so this is the hm so there is nothing new in this you know these things you know these things now how you can find the mass just a important thing how you can find the mass mass you can find it by volume into density clear now again you know the hs what is the hs is it i square rt so you can find the hm you have found the hs now find the melting efficiency that is hm by 
HS. So remember these formula because these things are eventually going to come throughout the uh, welding chapter. Okay. So this was all about the flash butt welding. Clear. This was all about the flash butt welding. Now let us talk about the flash arc welding. Now before going into the flash uh, flash uh, welding. What is the amount of current that is being given in the flash butt welding? It is 10,000 ampere to 50,000 ampere. So see very high amount of uh, uh, current is given and it is a resistance welding. Only and only these two important facts you should always keep in your mind so that you may not get confused. Let us start our next topic that is that is flash welding. Now see setup is same. See whatever the setup we have seen there is a fixed plate there is a movable plate everything is same in the flash butt welding all the setup is same except except what is the difference in the flash uh, flash welding so see in the flash welding this is basically a arc welding process. Now you will ask with me sir if if the setup is same if the setup is same that is fixed would be there movable would be there copper electrodes are there so so if the setup is same then how this is arc welding and earlier was resistance welding so see here comes the difference here comes the very big difference that in this flash welding i am giving only the current which is of range of 300 to 400 ampere 300 to 400 ampere always keep in mind the current that is supplied here is 300 to 400 ampere okay and in this case the current supplies is 10,000 ampere to 50,000 ampere now understand now understand the principle so before that just let me draw these things so that uh, you will get these things okay just just a minute so again there is a fixed plate this is my fixed plate Again, there is a movable plate. So this is my movable plate. These are connected with the copper electrodes. These are connected with the copper electrodes and with the power supply. So there is a power supply. Clear. Now see what is happening. These two workpiece. So this is fixed. This is two workpiece. This is movable. Now understand two workpieces which are to be welded. See two workpieces which are to be welded will be provided between the two copper. So see there is a two copper electrode holder. So this is the two copper electrode holders we have seen. Now see by giving the power supply. Suppose you are giving the power supply here. So what is happening? What is happening? First time you are touching these things. So suppose this is my fixed. Suppose this is my fixed plate. This is my movable plate. I am bringing my movable plate like this. This is a fixed plate. This is a fixed plate is fixed clear and this is the movable plate so i'm bringing the movable plate like this and like this and like this so see when i will be connecting the movable plate with the fixed plate what will happen it will be short circuit it will be a short circuit combination so now my circuit will be short circuited once the short circuit would be there we have seen that electron will flow electron will flow with a very high velocity and arc will be generated now to continue the arc to continue the arc we have to separate these gap with some distance okay so we have to separate these two uh, work pieces with some distance to continue the arc so i hope you got the idea i hope you got the idea so in this what you are doing what you are doing just let me write it so that you can understand okay so first step what is the thing that you have understood the two work pieces are to be welded so these are uh, copper so these are copper electrode holders okay same concept same thing is there but the difference is that difference is that by by giving the power by giving the power supply two work piece two work piece will be made in contact will be made in contact at the ends now see when there would be a contact at the end so due to this what will happen a short circuit will form so see due to this due to this a short circuit a short circuit 
will be forming right and due to the short circuit due to this uh, a short circuit short circuited short circuit will form which leads to the generation of electric arc okay now electric arc is formed so this is the most important thing so suppose that electric arc is forming okay so you have just uh, 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 touched those things short circuited it and now you have kept it with some distance so now what so there is an electric arc suppose the electric arc is like this it is forming like this fine suppose like this like this so electron is moving from this from this part to this part with a very high velocity clear now see now see once you have uh, um, once the electric arc is generated to continue the electric arc you have to keep it with a some distance we have seen that okay so let me write it those things also to continue the electric arc to continue the electric arc some gap is maintained is maintained between the workpiece okay now see what will happen heat will be generated so here heat will be generated and again same concept once the heat is generated sufficient amount of heat is generated you switch off the supply again apply the power and again supply the external pressure and weld will be generated so same concept what is the same concept see once the sufficient amount of heat is generated so see here so once the uh, continuous electric arc so heat will be heat will be generated between the between the workpiece due to arc now once the sufficient once the sufficient heat is achieved once the sufficient heat is achieved switch off or power supply is, is switched off achieved power supply is switched off power supply is, is switched off okay now see after that what you are giving you are giving the external pressure so external pressure external pressure external pressure is applied so external pressure is applied and due to this external pressure the joint between two ends of objects will be formed so see what is the uh, difference main difference is that main difference is that here the arc is produced clear always remember here the arc is produced arc is produced and due to this arc we are using the welding and that is the flash welding clear so basically we are connecting with the power supply power supply you can use the ac or the dc anything you can use it but uh, generally we use the rectifier things to like uh, to in, enlarge the uh, power supply clear now see because we require a very high amount of current so step down transformer these things arrangements are also used now see here uh, but in this case we are giving a very less amount of current so we do not require the step down transformer so what you are doing you are giving only the power supply and suppose this is like uh, from here it is connected with the negative terminal this is connected with the positive terminal and from here the electrons is moving like this like this like this clear so this is how the picture is there so i hope uh, uh, Punaya Kodi Acha. So I think you got the idea. Punaya ji, which is anode and which is cathode. Okay, so I am pretty much sure that you understood the concept of flash butt welding and the concept of flash welding. So basically the difference is one is one is there is a formation of arc in the flash welding and there is a 
resistance welding so this is the resistance welding so i hope you got the idea every each and every concept is clear to you so basically we are using where is the applications so these things are used to join the objects end to end which are of made of mild steel aluminum alloyed steel anything you can use so let me write it one more point so the application of these these things is wherever you need wherever you need to join the objects end to end clear so so joining of the objects end to end which are made up of generally we used ms that is mild steel okay mild steel aluminum alloyed steel so each and every point is clear to you everyone each and every point is clear to you now see only these things are most important for your resistance welding point of view okay only these things are there you do not need to study uh, because see i have already told you lots and lots of welding techniques so to remember those every each and every uh, uh, welding techniques is not a cup of a tea i'm pretty much sure you would agree with me so i totally understand so that's why there is one percussion welding is there so i am just explicitly telling you so i am just telling the percussion welding like for 5 minutes definitely i would explain these things but if you could uh, remember those things that's okay if you could not remember those things important point should be always keep in your minds okay because percussion welding is not very much important but see since one or two questions has been asked in previous year so that's why that is like a 20 years ago so definitely but that should be covered okay so that's why i am covering this topic also okay percussion welding so next topic is next topic is percussion welding now see understand this percussion welding there is this welding is also very easy abhi kya hota hai na suppose kare ki aapke paas suppose you have wire of zinc suppose there is a wire of zinc and a wire of uh, uh, like uh, copper very thin wire is there very thin wire theek hai now if i would be asking with you my dear friends that i have a copper wire very small copper wire is there and again uh, diameter is very small again there is a zinc wire now i want to connect those things i want to weld those two wires how i can weld how can i weld both of like very small thing is there so it cannot be weld like by brazing okay don't go for the brazing on these things so for these kind of conditions we are using the percussion welding we are using the percussion welding so what is this percussion welding so suppose there is a understand the setup again i am telling this is not very much important so don't uh, uh, like uh, do the research in this topic don't 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 whatever the point i am telling you that's it that is more than enough more than enough don't go for the like any books because padhne ka koi ant nahi hai right so ekdam focused way mein padhe percussion welding is not so much important understand so there is like one wire is there okay suppose this is the wire clear so this is the wire and this wire is fixed so this is the fixed okay so this is my fixed now again the another wire suppose this is of a copper suppose this is of a copper now again there is one another end is there right okay so this is the this is this is movable end clear so this is the movable end so in this movable end what you are doing you have just put suppose the zinc or any other metals right like any other metals you just put it here and this is what this is your movable this part is your movable now you have connected these arrangement with the springs so there is a spring arrangement is connected like this clear 
now you may uh, remember the vibrations okay so there is a mass which is connected like that these things there don't go into that now what is happening so there is a movable part there is a fixed part in these two parts we have just put the suppose this is a copper wire this is a zinc wire now we have connected them we have connected them with the capacitor with the capacitor clear with the capacitor now capacitor is connected with the power supply dc power supply rectifier is there that is different thing okay so what is the most important point that you should keep in your uh, mind always and always that is percussion welding we are using the capacitor to store the energy now why the capacitor is used why the capacitor is used capacitor is used so capacitor is used to make dc supply smooth so to make dc smooth clear so that's why we are using the capacitor so most important point that to, that you should remember in this case is that capacitor capacitor is used for power requirement power requirement and see process is same see this is the fixed end this is the movable end and on the movable end suppose this is the movable grip and this is the wire so this is the wire and this is the fixed wire now what you are doing you are just applying the spring force so here the spring force is there you are giving a force like this like this and a very small so once they are brought to be very close so once they are brought to be very close so like for the for that 1 to 10 millisecond of the time you are passing the current and the joint is produced and the joint is produced so same concept is there do parts hain unko aap 10 milliseconds ke time duration pe jaise hi aap laate hain us 10 millisecond ke time duration mein aap current ko pass kara diye i square rt is forming heat supplied is there and hence you are getting a joint clear so so power is discharged within 1 to 10 milliseconds clear now see see if you could remember these things if you could if you could analyze these things you can very easily say that my heat is produced only at this part or at this part so can i say that my heat is very localized that is at that localized position my heat is produced and hence percussion welding is used to to uh, like weld in that conditions where i want a localized welding clear so power is discharged with 1 to 10 milliseconds to develop to develop localized heat at joint now see this process is very much useful to heat the component adjacent to the joint so these things are there uh, this is the most uh, like uh, only these things are important you just remember this this point capacitor is used okay capacitor is used so this was all about the resistance welding clear this was all about the resistance welding so throughout this topic if you have any doubt then ask with me otherwise i will be explaining you one more welding technique that is electro slag welding technique and after explaining the electro slag welding technique we will be doing a lots and lots of question of uh, resistance welding okay like we have also seen the question of resistance welding in the yesterday's class but today also we are going to see four to five questions from the resistance welding if you have a doubt till now ask with me otherwise i will be proceeding to the next topic okay So any doubt? <clears throat> okay. Understand now slag welding. Let us understand this electro slag welding. What is this electro slag welding? Okay. So I'm drawing it. Please try to understand. So there is a electro slag welding. There is an electro slag welding. Now see what is happening in this electro slag welding. So see, there is there is a plate like this. Fine. So there is a plate.
so this is the plate so this is the plate okay now see these are the two plates these are the two plates now i have to join these two thick plate so first and foremost thing electro slag welding is used to join a very thick plates okay so thickness is somewhat around 50 to 200 mm 50 to 200 mm now what we are doing in this what we are doing in this we take some suppose what is there so there is a wire reel so we are putting the electrode so there is an electrode like this so we are inserting an electrode clear so there is an electrode here there is an electrode here and this electrode is connected with the wire reel you have seen those wire reel like this from this wire reel this electrode is coming out fine now see there is a base plate there is a base plate so here is the base plate there is a base plate which is kept now what is happening what is happening try to understand try to understand from this from this you are giving the so suppose this 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 wire part electrode is there and this is the metallic part clear so this is the metallic part this is the workpiece so these parts are connected with the power supply power supply basically in this we are using the dc rp dc rp clear dc rp is there positive would be there here and negative would be there here now understood i have explained you when i will be using the dc rp direct current reverse polarity when i will be using when i want my electrode to melt when i want to my electrode to melt why why see here again so this is my electrode this is my electrode this is my workpiece this is my workpiece suppose if i have connected it with the dc rp that simply means here would be a positive and here would be a negative now see here is a negative it simply means it simply means that electron will be flowing from here like this like this like this like this clear electron would be flowing like this Now see electron is having a very high velocity so definitely they are producing the two third of energy at here and here is a positive so definitely from here what will be happening the positive parts would come to here so only one third of the energy is produced at the workpiece so definitely if the two third more energy would be produced at the electrode so my electrode will melt and hence i have connected this with the dc rp direct current reverse polarity so now i i am pretty much sure that you understood these things now see once you have connected this electrode with this plate so base plate is there so there is a base plate so with the base plate when you have just striked so this is my plate and this is the electrode so you have uh, given the dc rp once you have just touched it so after the touching the arc will form after the touching the arc will form and hence there would be a joining so arc will be forming and hence you, you will get the and hence you will get the joining so welding would be start welding would be start and in this throughout the part throughout this part welding would be there okay and this throughout part welding would be achieved how जैसे ऐसे वेल्डिंग होते जाएगा वैसे वैसे मैं उस इलेक्ट्रोड वायर अरेंजमेंट को दिस दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रोड वायर अरेंजमेंट आई विल टेक अप टेक अप टेक अप एंड हेंस योर होल लाइक वेल्डिंग वुड बी अचीव्ड सो आई होप यू गॉट सम आइडिया नाउ अंडरस्टैंड बाय दिस नाउ अंडरस्टैंड बाय दिस इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन एंड अगेन यू विल गेट द वेल्ड हियर आल्सो again you would do same continue the same process again you will be getting the weld like this again you will be getting the weld like this and by this fashion you are getting the weld throughout this throughout this like this fine so i hope you got the idea how exactly you are getting the welding in the electro slag welding fine now see now see what are the things that you should keep in your mind what are the things that should you keep in your mind
my videos is stopped mm, but uh, at my end everything is same everything is good okay just let me check it please uh, everyone do let me know that uh, you all are facing the same problem Yes, good evening, Dheeraj ji, good evening. Buffering, but, uh, but I can see the my video very properly. Please check your internet connections. Okay, please check your internet. Uh, shoes is there and these uh, shoes is, this copper shoes is water cooled. Fine, because when you are, uh, so there is a wire feed, there is a wire feed and this from this wire feed you are giving the consumable wire and it is this consumable wire is holded by the contact tip clear so this is the contact tip and from here you are giving the consumable wire now see what i have told to you see what i have circuited it so once you have short circuited it after that arc will form to continue that arc you have to move it up to some distance and when you will move it the some distance so arc will be formed and melting would be there and what you are doing you what you are doing you are also supplying the external flux from the external flux so you are also giving the external flux external flux into this welding so just a flux powder is there so you just take the flux powder and put it inside this welding and hence what you are getting arc is generated here so here arc is generated you are putting the flux so definitely you will be getting the welding here so throughout this throughout this you will get the welding like this so you will be getting the welding like this okay so you will be getting the welding like this clear so i hope now you got welding would be like this in this throughout in this section also welding would be there now understand understand one more thing if you haven't understood understand by these things so suppose you are viewing with the side view side view so suppose this is the base metal second base metal first base metal now see this is the consumable electrode this is the consumable electrode now what you are doing it you are holding it with the wire water cooled copper now see what is happening what is happening here what is happening here so this is the consumable electrode fine this is the consumable electrode now see this is the consumable electrode and this consumable electrode in between them there is a electric arc so there is an electric arc fine so there is an electric arc so due to this electric arc what will happen what will happen the temperature is high so temperature is high so molten metal would be there and from the externally you are supplying some flux from externally you are supplying some flux also so you have got weld like this clear you have got the weld like this now suppose you have developed the weld up to this section now you will just move this uh, electrode arrangement upside upside so that you can now generate the weld in this section again you will generate a weld in this section again you will generate a weld in this section and in this way you will get the weld throughout like this clear you will get the weld throughout like this fine so this is the basic uh, uh, process of electro slag welding clear now let me explain it let me write it so for joining of high thickness and what is the high thickness that is range of 50 to 200 mm i have already told you so high thickness objects high thickness objects vertically edge to edge so to join for joining the high thickness objects vertically edge to edge this this is used fine so this is used electro slag welding is used so electro slag welding is used to join a very high thickness object vertically edge to edge see 
this is these things are placed vertically clear vertically now see uh, basic concept is same arc is generated let me write it so that uh, you may not face the problem arc is generated between a consumable electrode and workpiece clear and the workpiece so due to this due to this by melting the electrode by melting the electrode material liquid metal is produced between two surfaces so these things we have seen now from externally now externally we are supplying the uh, like flux we are, i have told you that from external externally you are giving the flux like this okay so flux is added so by adding sufficient amount of flux slag will be produced slag will be produced and see when the height see when the height of the liquid metal is increased like this right so it is in contact with the electrode suppose 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 i am welding like this fine now this is what this is my uh, consumable electrode now it has weld so my welding is like this like this like this now suppose once the welding height has just touched the my like this electrode so my like uh, uh, arc whatever the arc was there arc will extinguish arc will extinguish and see at this end so at this end my like so this is the uppermost part of the plate so once after that what will happen suppose this is my electrode so once the electrode and the weld pool will come in contact at this place arc will extinguish fine arc will extinguish so let me write it here that when the height when the height of liquid metal is increased then it will come in contact with the electrode and due to short circuit due to short circuit electric arc electric arc will be extinguished so one more point by supplying high rate of rent heat generation will be continued till or continued due to resistance of slag so i hope you understood this slag welding electro slag welding process but see there are some salient point that you should keep in your mind that that you should keep in your mind so here the very high amount of heat is generated clear so here a very high amount of heat is generated and hence let me take it here so here very high heat is generated so naturally if very high heat will be generated so definitely cooling rate will decrease cooling rate will decrease clear cooling rate will decrease now see if cooling rate will decrease so you will get you will get a coarser coarser grain size of the belt coarser grain size of the belt what is the meaning of coarser grain size suppose if you would see like this so you would be getting like this 
this is the coarser grain size fine this is the coarser grain size now see if i i am getting the coarser grain size what is the meaning its meaning is that toughness is less toughness is less its meaning is toughness is less so basically uh, whatever we are achieving so from the electro slag welding now generally after doing the electro slag welding we go we go or we perform heat treatment process heat treatment process such as normalizing like things to increase my material properties material properties to improve the material properties so material properties are improved such as toughness and these things so i hope you got this idea uh sai ji definitely they may ask they may ask so for that see always remember what they will be doing don't uh, i would suggest you that don't do the calculation at each and every step bring everything at the last stage okay bring each and every calculations at the last stage and what you will find after bringing each and every small small uh, calculations at the last stage like uh, most of the thing would be cancelled out most of the thing would be cancelled out and hence you will be getting a very easy calculation so so these kind of tricky would be there in the those examinations and i'm pretty much sure that uh, like uh, very tedious calculations would not be given very tedious calculations would not be given okay okay so uh, any doubt in this electro slag welding any doubt in this electro slag welding so what is the observation here welding takes place vertically upward vertically in upward direction okay now what is the application what is the application so basically we use these things what is the application what is the application of this electro slag welding so we use it to join the very thick high thickness plate we have seen that so joining of high thickness plates vertically in ship building process next thing is fabrication of press frame and rolling stand mill these are the most important uh, like uh, applications remember those things sometimes questions are asked from these things only okay okay so this was all about the welding uh, technique that we have been discussing fine so first of all i have discussed the flash butt welding then i have discussed about the flash welding the differences i have talked about and then we have also seen the percussion welding and after the percussion welding electro slag welding is discussed now let us solve some of the numericals related to these welding techniques let us solve the numericals related to the this welding technique so suppose so this is the so this is the question okay now try to solve this question try to solve this question i am giving you like a, a some time or should i explain this question will you try this question or should i explain this question just give me the reply so that i can understand at least give me the reply okay so there is a two pipes of inner diameter 100 mm and outer diameter 110 mm 
clear so there is a two pipes so there is a two pipes of inner diameter and the outer diameter is given each joined by the flash butt welding so there is a flash butt welding clear so there is a flash butt welding so see here so see here there is a plates so this is a two pipes so this is a first pipe and there is another pipe clear there is another pipe like this and these two pipes are flash but welded clear these two pipes are flash but welded now one most important thing that has been given so this pipe is not solid pipe this pipe is having the internal and external diameter okay so these pipes are having the internal and the external diameter so what is it so see here if i would draw the cross section if i would draw the cross section okay if i would draw the cross section then i would be getting like this So this is, so this is EI and this is DO, clear? And in this question, in this question, inner diameter is 100 mm is given, clear? So inner diameter is 100 mm. Outer diameter is 110, so outer diameter is 110 which is given fine now they are flash but welded so what is the meaning of flash but welded so these are welded like this clear so these are welded like this fine so these are welded like this clear these are flash but welded now see using a 30 volt power supply so voltage is given as 30 volt now at the interface 1 mm of the material melts from each pipe. 1 mm of material melts from each pipe. So, what is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? That, suppose like this. This is the material has been melted. And the material is melted. The material is melted from 1 mm from each pipe. So, this is the meaning. 1 mm here and 1 mm here clear so 1 mm from this pipe and 1 mm from this pipe so this is the meaning clear now at the interface 1 mm of the materials melt from each pipe which has the resistance of 42.4 ohm so resistance is given as 42.4 ohm if unit melt energy is 64.4 megajoule per meter cube so what is the meaning the hm is given so what is the hm so hm is given as 64.4 megajoule per meter cube now see we have seen that hm should be hm's unit should be in joule but here there is a meter cube so we have to multiply it by the volume of this uh, weld then we are going to get the hm now in this question time required for the welding is asked so first of all let us find the volume of the welding clear so what is the volume of this weld what is the volume of this weld so we can say that we can say that what is this width what is this width this is b and b is equal to 2 mm because 1 mm from the one side and 1 mm from the other side so 2 mm would be there so to find the uh, like uh, volume see so how to find the volume so v would be pi by 4 d outer square minus d inner square into b so pi by 4 d outer is given as 110 and this is 100 so put it here 110 square minus of 100 square into b what is b b is given as 2 mm clear so put it here 
which is given as 2 mm so now when you will calculate it you will be getting the v value as 3298.67 mm cube this is the v what is the hm you have hm is 64.4 megajoule per meter cube so if i will multiply it by the volume then only the meter cube will be cancelled out so see here so hm would be 64.4 into 10 to the power of 6 because that is in megajoule so joule per mm cube multiplied by this volume 32.3298 0.67 mm cube now here here what you have seen this mm cube and this mm cube will cancel out so you will be getting the answer in joule so hm you will be getting as 212.43 joule okay now see here this is in this is in mm cube see here before that before that see here most important thing this is in meter cube and this is in uh, mm cube so you have to just convert it before that you just have to convert it like 10 to the power minus of 9 10 to the power minus of 9 see here this is in meter cube this is in uh, so that would be meter cube and then your things would be cancelled out clear and when you will calculating it you will be getting the hm in 212.4 joule clear so see now you have found the hm now time required for welding is being asked so there is nothing mentioned about the uh, efficiency so assume in this case assuming assuming melting efficiency to be 100 percent that is one so what we have seen melting efficiency is hm by hs and if this is one so definitely hs is going to be is equal to hm hs is going to be is equal to hm what is hs see here hs would be i square rt and hm is you just now you have calculated that is 212.43 joule what is i what is i see here can we say that can we say that v is equal to ir v is equal to ir so i would be v by r i would be v by r and here there is i square so can i write like that v square by r square into r into t which is also is equal to 212.43 now from here r, r will get cancelled out so v square by r into t is equal to 212.43 clear now from here you might need to find time so time would be 212.43 into r by v square now substitute these values what is the contact resistance that has been given 42.4 and what is the uh, v value that is 30 volt so put these things here you will be getting as 212.43 so r is given as a, okay so you will find from here now tell me the answer now tell me the answer try to find this answer and tell me substitute the value of r and v clear substitute the values of r and v so the here would be 42.4 and here would be v so v is 30 volt tell me that time in seconds tell me the time in seconds 300 how how it is coming as 300 how it is coming as 300 No, no, it is coming as 10 seconds. Is this question clear to you or not? Is this question clear to you all or not? Is this question clear to you all? Is this question clear to you all? <clears throat> is this question clear to you all? In this question, this is the flash butt welding. 
very easy question was there but definitely concepts need need uh, concept was needed and uh, like you can solve this questions okay so have you understood this question no problem in this question now try to solve this question try to solve this question and tell me the answer so i am expecting your answers try to solve this question and tell me the answer this is the same questions basic question is there that we have seen in yesterday's class so if you have missed my yesterday's class do watch those videos because pro in a proper way i have explained each and every numericals as well as the concept things i have given in the two slides two charts i have given <clears throat> see in this question also two sheets of 1 mm thickness because you are not replying so there is a two sheets of 1 mm thickness are to be welded by a resistance welding clear and current is supplied this is the current this is the time assuming heat r is given melting hm is given here diameter is given height is given of the weld nugget you just have to calculate the melting efficiency similar basic concept is there basic question is there try to solve this question so there is a two plates so there is a two plates and these two plates are lap jointed so two sheets of 1 mm thickness so there is a thickness of 1 mm now uh, the current that has been passed is this so current is 30 thousand ampere it is passed for time 0 0.005 seconds so time is 0 0.005 seconds assuming the heat required for a melting is 10 joule per mm cube so hm is given as 10 joule per mm cube so again it is given uh, like per volume so definitely you have to multiply it by the volume and you will be getting the hm in joules clear so contact resistance is given as 100 micron so contact resistance is 100 micron that is 10 to the power minus 6 ohm clear now the joint can be assumed to be cylindrical in shape with a diameter of weld nugget. So let us assume that joint is formed like this and this joint is having the diameter. So this is the DN, this is the DN and this is the HN. This is the HN. So here the diameter of the nugget is given as 5 mm. 65.44. Very good. Very good. Us is very good. So this is the diameter of the weld nugget that is 5 mm height of the welded nugget is 1.5 mm so these things are given to you clear now you have to find the melting efficiency so first of all find the volume of the welded nugget so what is the volume of the welded nugget is it pi by 4 en square into hn so everything is given to you what is the volume so see v would be pi by 4 dn square hn that is pi by 4 dn is given as 5 square it is 1.5 so definitely that is mm cube so 29.452 you are getting in mm cube now see just now you have calculated the volume and you know that if you will be multiplying it by the hm hm that is given per unit volume so you will be getting hm in joules so hm would be 10 joule per mm cube multiplied by 29.452 mm cube this will be getting cancelled out mm cube and mm cube will be getting cancelled out and you will be getting the hm 
एच एम वैल्यू वुड बी टेन इंटू ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट फोर फाइव टू विच इज गिविंग मी द एच एम एज टू नाइनटी फोर पॉइंट फाइव टू जूल्स दिस इज द एच एम दिस इज द एच एम वैल्यू दैट यू हैव गॉट नाउ सी हाउ यू कैन कैलकुलेट द एच एस दैट इज द आई स्क्वायर आर टी आई स्क्वायर आर टी नाउ सी वट इज द करेंट करेंट इज थर्टी थाउजेंड टाइम इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव आर इज हंड्रेड पर माइनस ऑफ सिक्स फुट दीज थिंग्स इयर सो थर्टी I square contact resistance R is given as hundred microm. Time is given as zero point zero zero five. So when you will calculate from here, from here you will be getting the HS value as four fifty joules. Now see, now see, you have got the HM value two ninety four point five two joules. You have got the HS value four fifty joules. How you can find the uh, melting efficiency? How you can find the melting efficiency? You can very easily find the melting efficiency as it is HM by HS. So what is the HM? Is it two ninety four point five two? What is HS? Is it four fifty joules? Now if you will multiply it by hundred, you will be getting answer in sixty five point four four percent is. And this is what was asked in this question to calculate the melting efficiency. So is this question clear to you? Is this question clear to you? Now please solve this question. Please solve this question and tell me the answer. Now please solve this question and tell me the answer. Again, same question is there, but in this question, percentage of heat lost is asked. So, percentage of heat loss. What is the meaning of percentage of heat loss? So, see, percentage of heat loss, which is what heat loss means. What? So, it is given as heat loss by heat supplied. Now, you know that. heat loss is nothing but heat dissipated heat loss is nothing but heat dissipated and heat dissipated it is what it is hs minus of hm and heat supplied is hs heat supplied is hs so heat heat loss is nothing but heat dissipated heat dissipated and this is hs minus hm This is HS minus HM. So you need to find in percentage. So just to find the percentage, just to find the percentage. Now, if you do not want to find like this, so see from here also you are getting one another thing, one minus of HM by HS. So percentage of heat loss can be given as one minus of melting efficiency. Okay, so this is one minus of melting efficiency you are getting. So try to work out this problem and definitely you will get the answer. Try to work out this problem and you will be getting the answer. Try to work out this problem. I have explained the funda. After one minute, I will be explaining this question. Okay, just uh, give a try. Just give a try.
currently we are solving the resistance building problem so kindly solve this problem and uh, tell me the answer see two sheets of 1.5 mm thickness okay so there is a two sheets fine so suppose that i am having the two sheets same problem is there again same problem is there two sheets is there so this sheet is having a 1.5 mm thickness clear are to be spot welded by supplying a current so this is a current that has been supplied this is the time assuming the heat required for melting of a metal is 1200 kJ per kg so what is this so is it hm so hm is given as hm is given as 1200 kJ per kg contact resistance is this r is given as this the diameter of welded nugget is 5 mm and indentation is assumed to be negligible now see indentation is assumed to be negligible so can i say that i will be getting a welded nugget like this i will be getting a welded nugget like this whose and in this welded nugget the diameter will be what diameter of the nugget would be given as c 5 mm so diameter of the nugget is 5 mm and since indentation is negligible so this is going to be my height of the nugget so height of the nugget will be what 1.5 plus 1.5 is it 3 mm so you have got the height of the nugget you have got the diameter of the nugget that is 5 mm and from this you can find the answer 97.17 no 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 asis i think you have committed some mistakes see here so we know the h we know the diameter clear so can we find the volume see so volume of the weld nugget would be given by pi by 4 diameter of nugget height of nugget so that is pi by 4 what is the diameter of nugget diameter of nugget is 5 mm height of nugget is 3 mm so write it here so that is 5 square 3 so that would be so this would be volume of the weld nugget would be 58.9 mm cube so this is the volume of the weld nugget clear so this is the volume of the weld nugget now see now see uh how you can find the see here here there is a peculiar thing what is the peculiar thing that you can see here it is kilojoule per kg so kg is there so you need to multiply this hm part with mass then only you will be getting the answer in joule so see try to find the mass try to find the mass so how you can find the mass so mass of the nugget is given by volume into density what is the volume is it 58.9 yes 58.9 mm cube what is the density so density is given as 800 kg per meter cube so let me write it here 800 kg per meter cube so that is in meter cube and this is in mm cube so can i say that 58.9 10 to the power minus of 9 meter cube is there and let us multiply by the density what is the density 800 kg per meter cube so 800 kg per meter cube now from here from here this meter cube and this meter cube will cancel out so you will be getting the mass so mass you will be getting as 4.71 into 10 to the power minus 4 kg now see you got the mass you got the mass now to find the hm see hm in in this question it is given as 1200 kJ per kg so it is 1200 kJ per kg now to multiply if i will multiply by the mass so that is 4.71 into 10 to the power minus of 4 kg so if i will do it i will be getting this kg and kg will get cancelled out and then you will be getting the hm for so this is the hm clear so this is the hm now you have found the hm how you can find the hs heat supplied how you can find the heat supplied is it i square rt now what is the i in this question in this question i is given as 10000 ampere t is given as 0.2 seconds and r is given as 100 microm so put it here i is given as 10000 ampere so i square r is given as 100 microms 10 to the power minus of 6 and time is given as 0.2 so when you will substitute these things hs value you will be getting as 2000 joule 2000 joule now see you got this hm 
you got this hm you got this hs now what you need to find you need to find this percentage of heat loss so what is this percentage of heat loss it can be given by hs minus hm by hs into 100 clear so now That is coming as 10 to the power minus 5. Okay, just let me check it. <laughs> okay, so that is 10 to the power minus 5. Don't worry. So that is 10 to the power minus 5 would be there. Put it here. How much it is coming? How much it is coming? So it is coming as fifty six point five four four. Okay, isn't it? So, you will be getting as 56.544. Okay. So, this is the HM that you have got. Now, now see the HS and the HM. So, now if you will find this HS and the HM. So, what is this uh, heat percentage of heat loss? What is this percentage of heat loss? So, percentage of heat loss would be hs minus of hm by hs what is the hs see hs is uh, hm is 56.54 so that would be 2000 minus of 56.54 by 2000 and hence by using this you can calculate by multiplying the 100 now tell me the answer percentage of heat loss would be now tell me the percentage of heat loss now tell me the answer <coughs> What would be the answer? That is 97.173. Clear? So that is coming around 97.173. Okay. So, yes, your answer was correct. Assess your answer was correct. Okay. So basically, uh, I'm pretty much sure that uh, in yesterday's class also I have solved a lot of numericals from this uh, uh, from this concept of resistance welding, and from this also in this class also I have uh, discussed the numericals of uh, this uh, resistance welding. So definitely you are gaining some good confidence in this topic, and I'm pretty much sure I have covered like questions of mechanical production everything so that you will fail a lot of problem. Yatharat, it is like a full course. Okay. I am teaching in a full phase thing. You can check my earlier videos also. So, crash course basically it means that I am going to complete in a very limited time. Okay. I am going to complete these things in a very limited time. But the content what I am providing is full phase things. Okay. Yes, Asis, your answer is correct. Your answer is correct. Now, this is the last question. Try to solve this question and tell me the answer. Now try to solve this question and tell me the answer. Okay. Try to solve this question. <coughs> try to solve this question and tell me the answer. So basically see in this question there is a spot pulsed laser welding is there okay so i have not taught these things don't worry 
just understand the concept what is being told in this thing so in spot pulsed laser welding of aluminum plates so plates is having a density is given clear specific heat is given so see let me change the color so what is this this is density this is specific heat so this is c melting temperature this is melting tm latent heat of melting so this is l temperature at a temperature of 30 degrees celsius this is ambient temperature pulse with the energy of 0.5 joule is focused onto area of this so see the area of nugget is given as this area of nugget area of welded nugget is given clear and this is the energy supplied this is the hs heat energy supplied is hs is focused on to area if the entire energy is coupled into the material what will be the depth of welding assuming the cross sectional area of the weld is circular see the weld is assumed to be circular in nature clear is uniform throughout its depth is uniform throughout its depth only and only heat conduction in the direction of the penetration so what you need to find you need to find the depth of penetration what will be the depth of welding what would be the depth of welding clear so you need to find the depth of the welding try to find this question try to calculate this question i'm giving you a uh, two minutes time and if you cannot solve it then also tell me that you cannot solve it then i will explain this question melting temperature is given as 933 kelvin and uh, ambient temperature is given as 30 degree celsius so convert it in the kelvin also that would be ambient temperature would be 303 kelvin clear so this is the ambient temperature this is the melting temperature so what is the temperature difference what is the temperature difference so is it 933 minus 303 so is it delta t would be 630 kelvin Fine. so we have calculated this use these things okay so change in the temperature is this change in the temperature is this how you can find the hm can you tell me how you can find the hm see you can find the hm as mc delta t plus of ml now see in this case in this case it has been given that ml c delta t everything is given so what you can substitute the hm would be m c delta t plus of l plus of l and what is this mass what is this mass mass is density into volume clear mass is density into volume see here so this uh, hm is mass so mass would be density into volume so volume into density which is given c delta t plus of l and see if you would assume so suppose like this okay so this is the this is the equation so what is the volume so can you say volume of the nugget so is the volume of nugget can be broken down uh, broken down into area of nugget into depth depth of penetration into density c delta t plus of l sir is it d okay is it d yes yes answer is d very good very good assist answer is d now understand the area of nugget what is the area of nugget given see area of nugget it is given as see in this question it is given as 0 0.05 mm square so write it here 0 0.05 mm square what is the depth so depth you don't know you have to calculate what is the density so what is the density see density is density is 2700 kg per meter cube clear kg per meter cube now see here now see here this is in mm square this is in mm so i will multiply it by 10 to the power minus 9 to convert in the meter cube now what is the density that is 2700 kg per meter cube so see this is what i have got as mass this is i have got as mass now multiplied by multiplied by what is c what is c see in this case what is c so is it c in this case is 896 joule per kg so put it here 896 joule per kg 
Now multiplied by delta t. What is the delta t? See, just now we have calculated. Is it 630? So multiplied by 630 Kelvin. Now see. Since space is less, so this is 630. Now what is the L? Latent heat is what? Is it 398 kilojoule per kg? So definitely 398 kilojoule is there. Convert it in the joule. So 10 to the power of 3. So now if you will calculate these things, if you will calculate these things, this is my HM. This is this whole thing is my HM. Now see, what I need to find? I need to find the depth. I need to find the depth. So assume. Assume melting efficiency to be one. So if melting efficiency would be one, H M would be equal to H S. And what is the heat supplied? Heat supplied is 0.5 joule. Heat supplied is 0.5 joule. So equate this whole equation. H M is equal to H S. That is equate this whole equation with. This is equal to zero point. Uh, sorry, this is five joule. Zero point five joule. So equate this zero point five joule with this, and you will find the depth. The depth would be coming around three point eight four mm. So you will be getting the answer of depth in three point eight four mm. And in this option, whatever the options we are seeing, this option D is close to three point eight four mm. So definitely, my answer would be option D. So understood this concept or not? Is this question clear to you? Whatever I have explained in this question, is this concept, is this question, whatever I have explained till now, is everything clear to you? Is everything clear to you? Is everything clear to you? So this was all about for the today's session. So if you have any doubt, please ask with me. Everything is clear to you, then it's very good. And uh, if you are joining with the, if you are planning for a plus subscription, use my code Sir V K S I R V K to get a ten percent off, as well as you will provide. I will provide my personal mentorship to you also, Sir. When I started this subject, really, Sir, I was not knowing that you are going to teach in such a great and beautiful way. Yes, sir, from the bottom. Okay, most welcome, Asis. Most welcome. most welcome asis see definitely uh, i i also agree that manufacturing by seeing the manufacturing subject a uh, fear comes in the mind a fear comes in the mind that uh, my god this is a very lengthy subject i cannot do it but believe me believe me you will get very easily you will fetch very easily 18 to 20 marks in this subject if you will stick with me if you will stick with me i am promising you that you will be achieving great marks in this at least in this manufacturing because manufacturing is very beautiful and very easy subject just you have to understand what exactly is this world okay so any doubt till now any doubt till now so if you have really enjoyed my videos do like this video as well as share with your friends so that they will also getting benefited and they will also prepare for the, the their preparation for the gate and esc share this video and uh, if you are planning for a plus subscription use my code sir vk any doubt any doubt in this session please tell me if you have any doubt then i will uh, most welcome Then you are most welcome to ask the questions. Otherwise, I will end the session. Okay. So I am just waiting for a one minute, and then I will explain these questions. Uh, then I will end the session. Okay. Okay. So I assume that you don't have any doubt. so thank you so much for uh, active participation and making this uh, session to be very much interactive so thank you so much i am ending this session